Okay, so uh, at this point you have put your six inch clips. Remember your clips are made out of three quarter inch schedule 40 PVC. They fit on your frame, which is half inch PVC schedule 40. And we've tightened them up by just by spinning them here. Now, just a quick, I, I got to mention that if you sand these, these clips a little bit, it'll cut down on the wear and tear on your netting. And that's important because it's pretty fragile netting. Also, when you're making this bottle, if you coarsely sand the bottle and you coarsely sand the high-density polyethylene triangles, uh, that automotive group is going to stick to it a lot better. Okay? So here you go. You got your frame. Now, one thing I did while the camera was off is I took these corners and I rolled them and I clipped them. Obviously, you could sew that. But I think this works just as good, and it's cheaper. And then if you lose it in the river, you don't care because you didn't invest much time and money into it. Okay. Next thing we got to do is put the foam on. Again, it's just a fun noodle, and I split it long ways. Fun noodles normally have a hole in the center. If it does not have a hole in the center, don't buy that. You want this kind right here. Okay. I don't think the insects care what color it is. That was a joke. I know they don't. Um, and you just fit that on. And then you put your PVC clips on, right? It's just two inch PVC. Don't get Schedule 40. Get Schedule 18 or Schedule 20 or cheapest you can find because you want them flexible, all right? So that's it. That's how you put your flotation on. That's how you put the mesh on. The only thing you still have to do is make the coupling for the two bottles, right? Because you got a male end, male end, you need a double female. How I did that is I just took two caps. I put it on a belt sander or a disc sander. Disc sanders work better. Hold them there, hold them there. They're going to melt, they're going to melt. Oh, it's stinky, it's stinky. And then those tops are going to pop off where he rode away. And then you just hold them together and they're melted onto each other. Do it outside, do it where it's, where it's, where it's you got good ventilation. Put some automotive goop on it and then put some duct tape on it and it holds together real well. And now you can screw that on. And you can screw that on, and bada bing, you got your floating emergence trap. So, real simple design. You can make it for under $10. Uh, as you see here, they stack on top of each other really well. There's no weight on the bottles if you alternate it. Here's a bottle here, here's a bottle there. If you zigzag the bottles, uh, you can stack these about 10 tall. I've had them 10 to 15 tall on the back of a truck going down the highway. So they're pretty robust. Uh, they're cheap. I really like them. And I think the bottle trap has allowed me to do far more replication than if I was aspirating. Uh, so anyways, thanks for the interest. And call me if you have any questions.